Hi, my name is Katie Brosnan. I'm a registered nurse in Austin, Texas, and today I'm going to talk about how to prevent heat exhaustion. This is something that's really important and should be considered if you're going to be outside at the heat of the day. So the first thing you can do is plan your day, your workouts, or if you need to be working out in the yard or if you're on the job, working those shifts and those things around the heat of the day. So doing these things in the morning or doing them in the evening, but avoiding the heat of the day between 12 and 3 or 12 and 4. You'll also want to stay hydrated. This is really important that you're drinking a lot of fluid and that you're not just drinking the fluid when you're thirsty because that's already kind of telling your body that you're dehydrated, but drinking the fluid beforehand, drinking water and something that has some electrolyte replacements. The lower the sugar content, the better, but it's a good thing um, to stay hydrated with both water and electrolytes. And one of the ways that you can tell if you're starting to get on the dehydrated sign is by your urine. It's a good indication of how your kidneys are functioning and what the fluid levels are. And so if you're having urine that is darker, it looks more like apple juice, that's a good indication that you need to drink more fluids. You want your urine to lo look more like lemonade. So those are just some of the ways, probably the easiest ways that you can prevent heat exhaustion.